successfully done three agenda items. We're moving along here. Okay, so um, the next question I'd ask of all of you is how would you like to proceed? Well, I'll throw another number. Okay. Okay. Pro measure A, and I find that to be 
a real oversimplification of what I think a lot of people in the community feel, myself included, which is that um, we need to understand Measure A better, including all of the benefits of it and maybe some constraints that we face from it, maybe not, maybe there are no constraints, but that we need to be able to have an open discussion based in <coughs> facts to the extent that we can and analysis in order to determine how we feel about Measure A 35 years later. And I think that that's, you know, we so quickly line people up on what they can have the other, and that's not what I've been hearing from the community in my years on the planning board. What I've been hearing with greater frequency is that people want to know more about Measure A, understand how it impacts the future of Alameda while respecting its history and the past, and and then decide, you know, how they feel about it, whether they want to put that out or not. And that's really up to the citizens. If they want to stay in a comfortable form, they should discuss those things. So, I, let me just add. Uh, and, you know, others have their hands up. Oh, I'm sorry. And so I think I'd like to take Diane and then Marilyn and then we'll come to you. Okay. Uh, I think we just have to uh, get past that and get on to what it is that we want to do with the actual form. Because when people make statements publicly, you get labeled that way. And it's only due to public statements that people have made that those labels are going to catch. But we can't remove them. Hey, well, I, so I think we should just move past that and get on to what it is that the, the charge But I, if I could, I want to take Marilyn and then Pat, but if I could interject, I think one of the issues that Anne may be saying, if I can sort of interpret it, is that the one format that's been discussed so far could be a format that would have an effect to create those camps further, to solidify that those camps exist. And I, if I, I'm trying to just restate the point I think you might have been making. So that... That's, it's a possible format, certainly, and I'm not trying to discount it, and maybe it would be good for those two camps to be more clearly stated who they are and what they are. But it, uh, I'm sorry, I, but, but if our goal is to promote the kind of discussion that ANSA was speaking of, my experience as a facilitator is that there are, there are other <coughs> formats for a forum or a workshop that can facilitate common understanding more than a, a pro and con debate followed by public testimony. So that's, I mean, it's, it, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to discount the format which you've suggested, but I do think that, I'm, I'm really interpreting what I think Anne might have been trying to say, is that I think she might have a concern that that format doesn't meet one of her interests, which is an interest in making sure that the community has a chance to really have a meaningful discussion and to find middle ground as opposed to potentially polarizing. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying that we agree that somebody should be discussing the limitations of measure A, somebody should be discussing the benefits well, of measure Well, no, I, I, if I can correct you, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. we've, we, what we've agreed is that we need to come up with a forum that discusses the benefits and the limitations. That's different from saying we've agreed we're going to create a forum that has one group presenting benefits and one group presenting limitations. No, I'm saying you, this is one way to get there. Yeah, exactly. So you've suggested that as a way to get there. I'm still back at the question in my own mind, and then I'll call on Marilyn next. Are we prepared to talk about one way, which Barbara suggested, or do we want to put several ways on the table first, or do we want to do something else besides list either one or several ways? Marilyn? Okay, thank you. Um, what I um, would like to see come out of the forum or, or feed into, uh, inform the structure of the forum is that how can we structure a forum where people with a wide variety of views, and, and I concur with those um, around this table who have said, I really don't see that there are just two sides to this issue because just from speakers that we've had at the planning board and uh, emails that we got and um, letters did and whatnot. There still are a wide variety of topics to discuss. Whether um, if there's any modification to measure it, whether it's the state Alameda Point, whether it would be the rest of the island. But even more basic and overarching than that is we need. I feel we need to structure a forum where people with a wide variety of views feel comfortable expressing those views. And at the very least, as, as a threshold issue. We should avoid labeling. Now that said, I do understand that three of the members of our committee are here because they are appellants. Of, they didn't. They didn't think that we needed to even discuss this because they believe that Measure A should continue to exist. So I can. I think I can understand their 
resistance to being told that you have to you know, achieve a consensus of all, all these um, issues. But that said, I do agree that there's probably some common ground. I think there is a great need for community education. And community education, and of course, public opinion too, that will come in in any form that we do. But I hope that we can bring some experts in from a wide variety of fields, not only the history of Measure A, but how it relates to housing, to transportation, to open space creation, to historical preservation through uh, perhaps adaptive reuse of historic buildings, that sort of thing. So I hope that we can keep the focus broad rather than narrow, especially at the, the outset of this planning process. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pat was next a while ago. I don't know where to start. <laughs> First off, it isn't as if we were afraid to talk about changing Measure A at all. There have been many forums on Measure A over the years. Last year, the Albany Preservation Society presented a uh, whole program about Measure A and the effect on the island and had it, uh, how it affected preservation transportation development, etc. Those who were interested showed up at that meeting to become educated. So it isn't as if we are afraid of discussing major aid. I sat with you many times, Marilyn, uh, when we were friends at City Council, and heard you say you wanted to change major aid for base. That is a label you put on yourself, the same as I put a label on myself when I said, under no circumstances, do I think it should be changed? Additionally, a housing element, which we all have read and loved, written in 2001 and 2006, extensively outlines the benefits of Major A and it addresses the limitations of Major A to in a smaller degree because the limitations are smaller. So in fact, while I certainly agree, people should be allowed to discuss, people should be allowed to expose their ideas, but to sit there and say that, first off, an outsider, a uh, hired consultant, could come into our community and as a quick learning process, be able to come up with the information, et cetera, that has taken most of these people sitting at this table many years to accumulate, I think this focus to begin with. I think any time uh, the people who support eliminating major aid, they are just as well versed they are just as uh, intelligent. They are just as able to communicate their position as I feel we are able to communicate our position. I see no need for outside consultants. I think uh, Helen South, Diane Lichtenstein, the uh, Holmes group itself are very well versed in their position. And they have been very effective in voicing that position in the same way I feel we've been effective. So first off, I don't want to spend taxpayer money hiring more consultants. Secondly, I think we're perfectly capable of doing this ourselves. And I think if anybody truly wanted to be educated about major aid, there have been many, many, many opportunities. I see this as another opportunity for the more recent residents of our community. But anybody who's lived here longer than you know, five years certainly knows all about major aid. So those are my thoughts on it, and I think we should plan this form that allows for discussion by people who live here and by people who have a, uh, a dog in this fight. That's my question. No, so, so Marilyn used the term, and I, I, I'm paraphrasing, but talked about bringing in experts. I think you might have even said outside experts. I think you interpreted that to mean paid consultants. Absolutely. I'm wondering, that Marilyn, can you clarify, to, is your idea that the forum should feature a series of paid consultants? I don't know that they have to be paid, but if we can get, I, I, there are a number of, of people, with, with authors, um, urban planners, um, people in the Bay Area, outside the Bay Area, that may have something interesting to um, add to this discussion. So your idea, as I'm understanding it, wouldn't necessarily be to hire a series of consultants, but might be to um, to invite others who don't have a dog in this fight, to use the, the term that Pat said, to, to present some other points of view just to get people's thoughts going. Is that right? How do we go back?